there's a really great way, at least that helped me kind of understand where the differences lie. And it's essentially, in my opinion, that science kind of looks at, um, you know, the, the objectivity of, you know, the stuff, the material, what is, what's it made out of? How can we analyze and observe? And, and then philosophy and psychology to a lesser extent is, is much more about the subjectivity and how to act. And what does this mean for us as a, you know, that humanitarian approach. And I think, um, it's so interesting when you say that when people, because people, you know, as an astrophysicist, someone knows, you know, about the, the, the biggest questions, you're obviously, I'm assuming, don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm assuming you're going to attract people that are going to ask you these big questions. You know, what is the meaning of life, you know, given what you know and all this kind of stuff, you know? And yeah. um, I think that kind of whole meaning of life stuff is it's, it's much more of a question of what am I supposed to do with the information that you have learnt and observed? Whereas a scientist is primarily doesn't really care about what we're supposed to do. You know, morals don't really come from what a scientist observe and analyzes. Is that, is that your take yeah, yeah. on things? Yeah. It, look, uh, it, it, you can get into battles by arguing over what science is and what mm. scientists, you know, think, etc. And to me, science is what scientists do. And, and if you, it's kind of interesting that when you, when you look at the scientific method, which is not really something we learn or do, it's just the way science sort of hoofs itself along. Understanding, right, is not really part of it. It's, mm-hmm. it's making predictions. My predictions are correct. Making more predictions. My predictions are correct. So, you know, th- th- there's a lot of, um, and I think it was Feynman, maybe you put, express this, shut up and calculate. <laughs> don't worry about, don't, yeah, don't worry about the way the universe actually works. But if you can predict what's going to happen, then you're doing great science. And uh, you, you mentioned the friction between philosophers and scientists. And I think this is some of it in that scientists make predictions and then you move on and make more predictions and stopping to say, oh, well, what, what, what is a Higgs boson? Like what really is a Higgs boson? We don't do that, right? Mm. We, we've already moved on. We found the Higgs boson, right? Now we build the next collider. Yes, yes. That, that's a really good way of, of, of looking at it. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.